Hello and welcome to the This Is Game Show. Austin loves to host these episodes. What we're going to find out today is, does Austin actually pay attention to these questions? Or is he just <laughs> reading off the note card that I have provided for? I'm reading. I will just say this straight up. I am reading. What we're going to test today is okay. how well you have been paying attention Not to well. the This Is Game Show. Not well. Let's move on. To question number one. You even have the right like intonation. That's good. Yeah, it's almost like I pay attention to the game <laughs> show. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. That is the okay. The honor. That is an honor device. So I believe and this wa is. Walk me through. What are you? What are you looking for? Okay. I'm looking for my memory of when Sarah and I did this video. So I believe that this is the honor, I wanna say it's either the 6X or the V10. I think it's the V10. This is the video that Sarah, John, and I did as a sponsored video for Honor back in the end of 2017. I'm gonna say that this is the Honor V10. I am not 100% sure on that. It also could be a 6X, but I'm gonna say, final answer, the Honor V10. Austin Evans. Yes. The illustrious, you, the, you pay attention. the wonderful. Yeah. I'm not even gonna joke with you right now. You got that 100% correct. <laughs> that is the Honor V10 from 2017, Excellent. which you did do a video on with John and Sarah that we, may or may not have a clip right here. Can I just take a guess right now? Is the last question one of those weird motherboards that Linus had to do? Is that like my final question? Uh, I, it's, it's kind of presumptuous that you'd think that I would use that. <laughs> Let's move on to question number two. Oh, okay, so this is from the never before seen episode of Does Ken Know Anime, which sadly never saw the light of day. So I remember the cards or the, the card symbols, like the, the spades and the hearts and the diamonds around her head. That was definitely a big clue. I seem to recall her name was something to do with cards. I, not Joker, but like something like, um, I don't remember. Uh, I'm gonna throw a name. I'm pretty positive this isn't correct, but this is one of the only animes that I remember from this episode. Was was it Violet Evergarden? And her name was like, I don't think Ken got this one right, but I think her name was like Spade. Not correct. No, I'm just gonna say Joker. Joker from Violet Evergarden is my final answer. For the record, I love Violet Evergarden. And this is not it, is How it? How dare you? I got that one right. What am I looking at? Matt? Austin, not Duncan. <laughs> Stop pretending to be me. It only works when I be all dramatic. After two <laughs> grueling questions. I regret to inform you that you got zero points on that. Okay, That what? is Cream from Tiger and Bunny. Oh yeah, so I was 100% off, okay, cool. But I'm very happy to report that after two questions, you're still at 50%, so you're completely in the running. <laughs> I swear, Matt, you can be replaced with a Austin Evans soundboard and it would sound exactly the same right now. <laughs> I think that means that you could be replaced with an Austin Evans soundboard. <laughs> yep, very true, very true. Let's move on to question number three. I think this is the Apple Newton message pad 3000. I'm gonna say this was 19. 93. So the Apple Newton message pad 3000 from 1993. I think I'm correct on this one. Austin, I yes. know your middle name, Evans. How dare you? For question number three, you are 50% correct. Okay. So while you love to just give points out all willy nilly, I'm gonna make you be much more specific because again, at one point you had the right answers in your hand. True. So this is in fact the Newton Message Pad 2000. Okay. But it is in okay. fact from 1993. All right, so three questions in. I will preemptively answer my own question. I'm feeling pretty confident right now. I've seen all these answers before and I remember at least 50% of them. I think I can get 50%. Let's, let's move on to question number four. Please, let's, let's move on. Okay, so this is the Siemens Celebri. So this is one of the ones, we either had it for the Mr. Mobile show or the Marquez show. I think this was the one of the Mr. Mobile questions. I am not 100% sure on which model of the Celebri it is. I think it's a number. I think it's like the Celebri 7, Celebri 3, the Celebri 2, I'm not, Super sure on that. 
I am pretty sure that this is from 2003 though. Final answer. Wait, do I get a phone again? You do get a phone again. I'm not gonna use it now, but I, I do get that. And by phone again, I mean, you're just gonna talk to him because he's right there. All right, uh, Seaman Celebrate 3, 20, 2003 final answer. 50% correct. Okay. This is the Siemens Celebrity 6. Six. Okay. From, but it is in fact from 2013. So you are Three. still- 2003. Yes. See, look, see, look. Not so easy, is it? So wait, that was question three or four? That was question four, so you are at 50%. Mm, okay, I need to get a little ahead though, because I think that we're gonna get harder toward the end. Yes, that's how the game show works. I know, because I host it most of the time. Mm. Is there any episode that you feel like would throw you off? Yes, the Slow Mo Guys episode. <laughs> that would definitely throw me off. We don't have that. Excellent, yes. so I'm not worried then. Well, we don't have the Slow Mo Guys. We do have another friend of ours in question number five. Oh no. Okay, so this is obviously from the Zach episode. Looking at the phone, oh God, nothing jumps out to me at all about this. This looks generic town 5000. One of these days I'm gonna find the generic town 5000 that you keep referring to. It looks like it's got a decent fair bit of cooling. So I, I don't think this is a very old phone. I would say no later than 2017 or 2018. Um, I'm looking at the like the camera modules and it's very, Strange. You know, I'm gonna I'm gonna break the rules for a second. No! 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 Jimmy, can you shrink the size of it to like this big to show everyone what I can see right now? Thanks, I appreciate. It. I'm glad I have some. Support. You're on this the equal playing field as the contestants that we have on this game. Everyone puts their phones close to their face. Fact. I'm gonna say that this is a. Google Pixel 3, and that would have been 2018, right? Yeah, 2018. So I'm gonna say this is a Google Pixel 3 from 2018, final answer. Four, question number five. You are still at 50% because while this is actually a Pixel 3a, ah. it is from 2019, which is in that one year handicap. Okay. So you're still at 50%. This is the point in the game where I like to say, you're while you're still in this, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. we do have a wager available. Okay. If you will. Yes. Please enlighten me. If you can get 50% correct, mm -hmm. you will be a this is winner. No one can take that away from you. However, Facts. at the end, we have a double or nothing question. I'm not gonna where... take that. I'm gonna ruin your suspense. I'm not gonna take that because you guys are definitely gonna <laughs> with me on this one. And by the way, it's not optional. Oh. So... <laughs> <laughs> if you lose it, you yes. have to make a 30 second commercial for this is on an Austin Evans video. And if you lose, Ken and I get to tweet out whatever we want each from your account. Wait. Not that this is account. Wait, okay, hold on. So if I lose, you guys tweet, you each get a tweet on my account. Yes. Okay. If I win, I have to promote this is. No, we get to promote this is on your channel. So at what point do I win here? You don't. It sounds no, like I lose you, no you matter don't, what. You don't. You're the meme here. We're just making fun of you. No. This, that's like the whole point of this. If you win, I'll... Do my job. All right, we've already moved on to the next question. Look it's at that. True. Ken jumped ahead and f uh, f I know what this thing is, this is stupid. Uh, so this is uh, Weirdo 9000. Uh, this is definitely from the Mr. Mobile episode because we gave him the worst, stupidest phones that have ever been designed. Nokia's coming to mind, um, but that's really weird for a Nokia. I don't think, it's not a celebrity. The year, I still think the early 2000s, that was peak weird phone when like, the smartphone really wasn't fully fleshed out yet, but the feature phone was a little bit too boring and sort of stale. So everyone was trying these wacky ideas. So I'm going to say that this is a Nokia 7110. You've made countless videos. Over a thousand. And you can count them. That did not help you in any way, shape or form yep. for question number six, because not only is this not a Nokia, okay. and it's not from 2003, but it's also not from the Mr. Mobile episode. Was this the Marquez episode? Nope. This is the 2008 Toshiba G450 from the Snazzy Labs Quinn Nelson episode. Oh. So not only did you get zero points, I'm actually gonna take one away ha. from you. <laughs> so no, you are no longer at the 50% threshold. Well, I already wasn't, but now I basically have to get every question perfectly right to even have a shot. Oh yeah, and you're not gonna do that. So let's move on to question number seven. So this is a doogie, I believe. 
It's uh, it's meant to be that that Xiaomi, the I believe it was, was it the Mi Mix or the the super high end phone from like end of seventeen. I think that this is it. There's a couple versions. This is from the Dave Two D video. Uh, I don't know. I think it was Dave. But I remember that this one was tricky because it was either Duji or it was like some other like sort of much more obscure Chinese brand. Um. I don't think it was Duji though. I think it actually was something else. I'm gonna say this is the point where I'm gonna use my phone again. This is your phone again. This okay. Is my phone again. So can we get Ken on the phone? Yes. And by on the phone, just yell. I'll I'll, I'll dial Ken. He's right here. One eight hundred sixty nine sixty nine four twenty. Ken. Hi. How's it going? I mean, just oh. <laughs> hey Ken. How's it going? Hi. Hey. So uh, do you know what this phone is? No. Okay, cool. Well, uh, and by no, I mean I, I have the list there. But, and you're just not uh, gonna help me? No. Well, you know what? Even though you didn't help me, I'm gonna still say thank you very much for trying mm -hmm. and uh, goodbye. I'm not gonna just hang up on you unceremoniously like everyone else does. It's yeah, true. no one ever says goodbye. It's goodbye, true. Ken. They do just hang up goodbye. on Ken. I'll say the blue S1, and this is from 2017. Final answer. Austin Evans. Yes. So many times on this show, our guests have a gut feeling, and then they ignore that gut feeling. Yeah. And they end up getting the question wrong. But you know what? I'm actually gonna reward you for going with your gut. This is the Blue Boo. Blue Boo. S1 from 2017. I will give you full credit for that. Thank just you. to show that I am an honorable host. I would say let's move on to question number eight. But Ken is standing behind me. He has to hit the button over and here. He's the one who's <laughs> supposed to be handling the button. Gotcha. Ape Escape. 1999. 1999, Ape Escape. I remember this one, because Kevin did not get this one right. And then uh, you had the whole story about how Ape Escape's your favorite game. This is like the little uh, intro-y sound effect thing. You did get it correct. This is, in fact, Ape Escape from 1999. And it is, in fact, my favorite game of all time. So let's move on to question number nine. I'm not gonna get the name of it right, and I'm not gonna get the year of it right either. But yeah, this is the one where Dave called you, and uh, you gave him the correct answer, and then he didn't take it and lost. I am <laughs> so offended by that, Dave. So this is the Canon, uh, I wanna say like 600C or something. It's like the, the Note Jet, I think, the Canon Note Jet. Um, it was early 90s, I want to say like 1993. Um, I'm not going to get more specific than that. I'm just going to say 7C from 1993 It would be my final answer. The whole gimmick with this one is that there's a printer built into the laptop because I guess they thought that that was a good idea. Austin, not Duncan. For question number nine. You have reclaimed the lead. That is 100% correct. This is the Canon Note Jet from 1992. So okay. that is within that one year handicap. So let's move on to question number 10. Is it time for scenes of Ed. out of the hat yet or no? Can we do a hoedown? Yeah, that's not so bad. That's from the last episode. That is a, I think it's a colorful GTX 680. The thing that made this unique was it had the dual eight pins, which is a bizarre choice, but this is a completely passively cooled um, graphics card. So essentially that back little like add-on doohickey, that's essentially if you wanted to overclock it. So I don't even think that was, I think it was an optional card, but essentially it would fill up like three or four slots in your car, uh, in your case. But the advantage would be that with this particular graphics card, you didn't need fans or anything. You could put it, as long as you had decent airflow in your case, it would work. So yeah, I'm gonna say that's the colorful GTX 680. Oh God, when was 680? Uh, uh, 680 was probably like 2012, I think. Awesome, I'm not even gonna keep you in suspense. You are 100% correct. This is the colorful iGame GTX 660. 680. 680. You still can't read the card. You can't make fun of that, me? Nope. No. That was my stutter. That wasn't even me misreading. That was me stuttering the word six. Thank you. Thank you for making some fun of someone with a speech impediment. Cool. I don't even want, I don't even want to do this anymore. Let's move on. Are you just salty because I did okay? I am a little salty because I definitely thought you were going to do way worse than you did. I actually do kind of pay attention. Cue it up, Ken. <laughs> oh, the f*** your face 9000. All right, this is a Samsung. 
It's running Windows XP. This was something we showed to both Marquez as well as I believe Mr. Who's the Boss. Um, it's like the SPH 7000, I believe, something along those lines. Um, this was a later model, even though it's running Windows XP. I think it was like Atom powered. It was like in the netbook era. So I think it was actually much later than you would expect. Like I think it was like 2008 or 2009. I'm going to say the Samsung SPH 7000 from 2007 is my final answer. Austin Evans. Yeah. We have gone on a journey over the past six months yeah. of doing these game shows. It's been a great great ride. We've had highs. We've had lows. Yep. This is one of them. Yep, because I got it wrong. This is the Samsung S P H P 9000 from 2007. Okay. You are, in fact, that this is winner. No one can take that away from you. However, you don't walk away with anything. Anything, but you do get the opportunity to tweet out a subscribe to this is link from your account. That is what you win. Oh boy. That one sucks. I, I was close on that, man. I was really close. I thought this one would have been ingrained. This is your Z Flip's great, great grandfather. True. And you completely disrespected him. So now the rule is I have to hand you each my phone and you get to tweet whatever you want. Yes. Okay. Well, I said that you're this is loser. Cause you know how that you say that like, you're this is winner and no one can take it away from you. Yeah. I just took it away from you. Thank you so much for watching this episode of This Is. If you want more content like this, just keep watching because we're going to keep making it. So like, Not subscribe. Like this, Not like this. And we'll catch you in the next Not one. Not like this.